boy, everybody, it's about time. So, so uh, I've been avoiding talking about the Jesse Smollett thing, uh, partially because I wanted to wait for some more details to come out, and partially because I've more or less doomed this channel to the uh, small size that it is, because, and I think I've honestly been algorithmically shadow banned by YouTube, uh, because I have talked about... Uh, black victim complex, uh, black identity, black supremacy type shit throughout most of 2016 and uh, 2015. And uh, I feel like I've said it all before. Uh, Jussie Smollett has what I like to call modern nigger mind. I've made multiple videos on this. Now, the title of this uh, condition, modern nigger mind, is ironic. It is actually meant to elicit the knee-jerk response a lot of you may be having and hearing that term. What do you mean? Are you calling Jussie Smollett a nigger? No. I'm saying that Jussie Smollett thinks all white people think he, Jussie Smollett, is a nigger. He thinks of himself as a nigger and projects that onto everybody else. Whether or not they are racist or whether or not they give a shit about him, he has a, a narcissistic complex, as a lot of black actors do. He thinks that everybody is thinking about him, and he thinks they're all thinking very racist thoughts about him. He automatically assumes the worst of everybody, especially people who voted for Donald Trump. Now, since a significant amount of this country voted for Donald Trump, you know, several million people, tens of millions of people, 30 out of the 20 states voted for Donald Trump, he thinks that all Donald Trump voters uh, are people who would lynch him and pour bleach on him and, and attack him. But there's a problem with the, this narcissistic idea that Jussie Smollett has. First of all, nobody really has heard of him outside of uh, BET viewers. No, nobody knows who the fuck this asshole is until the story came out. And nobody really cares if he's black. Nobody cares if he's gay. Nobody cares about his show empire. Nobody really cares. Nobody's heard of this guy. But he thinks that we all know him and we all hate him. We would all lynch him. And, to, and tell him this is MAGA country. That's right. In the middle of the night, in downtown Chicago, during a blizzard, in a, in a liberal shithole town where there are cameras everywhere, somehow a coordinated bleach and lynching attack happened in the middle of the night in downtown Chicago because downtown, downtown excuse me, Chirac is, quote, MAGA country. Really, nigga? <laughs> no. No. He faked this hate crime because these hate crimes that he thinks should be everywhere because every one of us is a, is a Nazi saluting, um, clan rally attending, fucking uh, coon-hating monster. Uh that these hate crimes should be everywhere. And he's feeling like he has to make sure that we're not forgetting that these hate crimes are happening everywhere. They're just not making the news because the news is white supremacy. Everything's white supremacy. You seeing the uh, paranoid delusions going on in this guy's head? Yeah. So I don't really think, especially since there's certain weird details, which could be just to cover his ass, but these details saying he, he didn't want to file a false re police report, his family insisted he do... Um, he didn't, he didn't really want to draw attention to it, hasn't really given any interviews about it. Those could be him covering his ass, or they could be that he wasn't really doing it for attention. Ironically enough, now I am describing Jesse Smollett without knowing him as what I believe has got to be a supremely narcissistic individual, but he did not do this for attention. No, to him, this was like a, a, an a act of self-sacrifice or a martyrdom. That he could draw attention to the hate crimes that are happening every single day. And if and if there if none of us are paying attention to these totally real, totally not, you know, bullshit that aren't don't exist at all, these totally real hate crimes that are happening every single day all throughout MAGA country, well then surely we will all wake up and get woke if one of them happens to famous super important actor Jussie Smollett. No, to him, this was an act of altruism. If I fake a hate crime against myself, surely we will uncover the true, the true reality of white supremacist America. No, Jesse, you're just a fucking liar. Just like progressive leftists are all fucking liars. You're black supremacists and, 
and all, all these fucking Das Right motherfuckers, you're all just fucking liars. This is the best time in the history of the world to be a, uh, a black American, and this is apparently the time where black Americans feel like complaining about their lot the loudest. And uh, I really think it's conditioned in these people. I don't want to go out of my way and immediately call all these people ungrateful or racist assholes or stupid. Um, but I would say that people are still to this day being raised in a culture that is 50 years past relevancy. This idea of an us versus them, white versus black. It's just not what's going on. And so what's going on is, is uh, basically, you ever seen that meme where it's just like, uh, black people, I feel so sorry for you white people, you're so awful. White people are like, I don't fucking think about you anymore. I haven't thought about you in forever. Black, fucking Black Panthers, I don't fucking care. What fucking, what, black rights? Didn't we do that in 1963? What, fucking 25 years before I was born and I'm a fucking 30-year-old boomer? You, dude, why, do, why am I supposed to care about you? I really don't care. And the only reason why we're talking about you is because you are forcing us to talk about you. Same thing with gays and trans and bisexuals and fucking, um, fucking, uh, what do you call it, asexual, fucking, whatever the fuck you're made up shit, I don't fucking care what you do in the privacy of your own home. All I want you to do is fuck off. Dear God, this phone will not fucking focus. I just get wide out. Yeah, I'm that fucking Irish and I get in the sun that little. But really, it's just, nobody really cares. In fact, some of the most edgy, alt-righty people are only like that because they feel forced to give a shit. And if they're going to be forced to give a shit, their version of giving a shit about you is going to be to hate you. But really, a lot of them aren't looking for the ethno state. They're just looking for you to shut the fuck up and go away. Because the honest thing is that American society is not oppressing the black gay Jesse Smollett empire actors of the world. They're just not caring until they're being forced to care. And I would argue that being forced to do anything and to have having your own image being forcibly changed by the existence of some narcissistic cunt from Chicago, a city I've never been to, but no, but because, because I support Donald Trump and because supposedly Jesse Smollett was bleached and lynched by somebody else who supports Donald Trump, that means that I'm a bad guy. No, I've never been to Chicago. I don't care about Chicago. I never met or thought about Jesse Smollett before this fucking story hit the shelves. I do not fucking care. I do not want to care. I resent being made to care. Fuck off. That's all there is to it. That's all most of us, any of us, want out of progressives is for you not to die, not to be fucking gassed, not to be fucking castrated or any of this fucking negative shit. Nobody wants any of that to happen to you, at least nobody I take seriously. They want you to fuck off and stop lying. Thank you.